Look how the diamond bleed off my jet. Fresh in my white teeth. See the progress. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. Cat Williams leaks Diddy's full partners in crimes list. I personally couldn't believe it. Oh. <laughs> Snapper rapper. Goddamn. Oh my god, fool. Don't get on my ass. Goddamn. Alright. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Drop down to the comments. Follow me on the gram at st.kt and at reallykt. And go stream me and mine out not everywhere by reallykt. Got that. By stakt. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Why you never see the product suffer because I am the wrong product. person. That's why he never is nowhere re upping because he is re up. <laughs> 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 hey, okay. I owe you a dinner, man. I owe you a dinner. I obviously can't afford to get I'm a, anything I'm a else. Like I told Puppy, I don't let men take me out, sir. I'm good. What's happening? Yeah, hell no, nah, boy. What? Coming back boy. to you if JD ain't here. What? Yeah. Jermaine Dupree, king of the <laughs> you ask me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Jermaine Dupree, smallest baby. child. In a really surprising turn of events that's got everyone in Hollywood talking, comedian Cat Williams has called out big-time music boss Diddy. He's saying that Diddy is involved in some shady stuff, and it's not just him. There are a lot of other powerful people tangled up in this mess. This is huge news because it shows Cat Williams is really serious about proving what he's saying about Diddy, especially after some recent incidents at Diddy's fancy houses made people watch him closely. But this story isn't just about Diddy alone. It's about a whole group of big shots, including some of the top names in Hollywood. After some raids at Diddy's fancy places, there's been talk that he's been mixed up in some questionable activities for a long time. Cat Williams, who often finds himself in the middle of controversies, is really pushing to bring out the truth about what Diddy has been up to. He's bringing up new info that seems to show Diddy and a bunch of his powerful friends are right in the middle of all these shady dealings. The big question now is, who are these people helping Diddy and how deep are they in this whole situation? Let us know so. podcast recently, Cat Williams gave a little hint about how serious this is. He said Diddy once offered him $50 million to do something pretty bad. All it is uh, big, big deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TG, 30 years, I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge. Yeah. This is uh, a metal shingle. Yeah, the roof behind me looks like a tile roof, but it's actually a metal. And your secrets. This has started a lot of gossip, and now everyone is looking at Diddy differently, wondering if these stories are true. Things are heating up even more. Diddy's big, fancy houses in L.A. and Miami were just searched by Homeland Security. They're looking into some serious accusations of sex trafficking as part of a big investigation involving lots of federal agencies. This is a huge step up in the legal troubles for the famous rapper and producer. It was really it shocking too? when his sons got caught up in these raids, too. Videos from the raids spread like wildfire on social mm. media, making everyone buzz about what's happening. Diddy's lawyer, Sean Hawley, hasn't said much, but the pressure is definitely on. The situation is pretty serious, with these raids and a bunch of lawsuits claiming that Diddy was involved in sex trafficking. It's casting a really dark shadow over what used to be his shining career. Now, people are starting to question his past actions and how this will affect the whole music world. As more information comes out, everyone's glued to this story, wondering what else will be revealed about Diddy's secrets. And there's a lot of curiosity about who Cat Williams will point to next. With each new twist in the story, it seems like Cat Williams is onto something big, talking about a whole group of powerful people involved. And now, with recent legal documents supporting these shocking accusations, it's getting even more intense. In the lawsuit brought by Rodney Little Roger Jones, some big names from the showbiz world are mentioned, making the situation even more complicated and dramatic. Rodney Jones's legal complaint has grown to a massive 73 pages and lists a bunch of people allegedly connected to Diddy's wrongdoing. Among those named in the lawsuit is Justin Combs, along with Lucien Grange, Ethiopia, Have to Marry Him, Christina Cora, 
and some well-known music organizations. They're all being accused of being involved in some serious stuff, from drug trafficking to SA. The details in the lawsuit are pretty alarming, SA. suggesting a large-scale criminal network. Justin Combs, who is Diddy's Not son, funny. is caught up in all this trouble, too. He's accused of hiring sex workers, allegedly following orders from Christina Corum Corum, who is said to be a key person in Diddy's team. According to the lawsuit, she played a big role in Diddy's activities, supposedly telling staff to get and give out drugs for Diddy, which adds to the scary picture of what was going on close to Diddy. Lucian Grange, mm. the big boss at Universal Music Group, is accused of not keeping a close eye on the money flow to Diddy's projects, which might have helped the alleged illegal acts mentioned in the lawsuit. Having such powerful figures involved really shows how serious and far-reaching these claims are, Damn. shaking up the music world and more. However, there's even more to the story. The lawsuit also points to Cuba Gooding Jr., an Oscar-winning actor, for some really troubling behavior on Diddy's yacht. In the updated lawsuit, it's claimed that Diddy introduced Rodney Jones to Gooding, leading to some unwanted and uncomfortable situations. Jones talks about being inappropriately touched and harassed by Gooding during an encounter that added to the heap of allegations tied to Diddy's network. Furthermore, Young Miami, who used to date Diddy, is named as a key player in the lawsuit, accused of moving illegal drugs for Diddy to use. The updated legal document states that Young Miami was involved in getting a pink substance onto a private plane, highlighting her role in Diddy's dealings. Looking into what Cat Williams has said, he seems to think that the people mentioned in the lawsuit are just part of a bigger group of bad guys in the music and film world. Williams hints that Diddy might not be the main person behind all the bad stuff going on. Instead, there could be hidden bosses controlling things from the shadows. There's talk going around that the situation is much more complicated and darker than it seems. People close to the case say that Diddy, while being a big name, isn't the main person in charge of this huge criminal operation. Rumors are flying that Diddy's high-profile status might have accidentally revealed a deeper level of wrongdoing, with more powerful figures pulling the strings in secret. Diddy, who used to be seen as someone too powerful to be challenged because of his big role and connections in showbiz, is now caught in a big controversy. He's trying to defend his reputation against a wave of serious claims, including police raids and many legal battles. Even though he says he's innocent, there's a strong push to make sure he answers for these issues. Derek Parker, a former detective with knowledge of Diddy's history, has made some intriguing statements in the New York Post that have caught people's attention. Derek Parker is hinting that there might be someone close to Diddy who's leaking private information to damage his reputation, suggesting there are bigger reasons for the intense focus on him now. It seems like there's a deliberate right. effort to ruin Diddy's image and career, with insider help from someone in his circle. Parker sees this as just the mm. beginning, indicating there might be a larger conspiracy at play. So With all the media so bad, attention on Diddy's legal troubles, it's unclear who might benefit from his troubles. Mm. There's a lot of guessing about who these hidden figures could be, pulling the strings to bring down a major figure in hip-hop. This situation could be a strategic attack by rivals in the music business, using secret information to target Diddy. Cat Williams thinks this situation involves more than just Diddy and his close associates. He's suggesting a bigger plot that might even include Diddy's longtime friend and fellow music mogul, Jay-Z. Their relationship has been a mix of friendship and competition, with Diddy often joking about their rivalry. In a recent chat, Diddy playfully said, We're naturally competitive, showing that their friendly rivalry isn't just about who's richer or more famous. This competition has been a big part of their careers and success. But now, there's a question if Jay-Z could also be caught up in the same troubles that Diddy is facing. 50 Cent? known for stirring things up, has also dragged Jay-Z into the mix, making jokes on social media about the situation with Diddy. He playfully asked if anyone has seen J-Lo, poking fun at Jay-Z's noticeable silence while his friend Diddy faces legal problems. Jay-Z's lack of public comments has only added to the curiosity and rumors, keeping the gossip going. Jay-Z's journey from his past dealings to becoming the world's richest musician adds a fascinating twist to the story. His business skills have brought him incredible success, but now there's a question if the street smarts that helped him rise might also bring trouble, especially if he gets caught in a scandal that could damage his reputation. With Diddy and his circle under serious scrutiny, they might face the racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations 
Weapons Act, RICO, a law originally designed to take down crime groups like the Mafia. The RICO Act allows the law to go after people in an organization who have been part of ongoing criminal activities like drug trafficking, money laundering, and sex trafficking. Oh, in the case no. of Diddy and his group, using the RICO Act could mean linking many people to a larger criminal network, which could lead to harsh consequences, including long prison terms and the loss of their assets. Applying RICO to high-profile people like Diddy and his associates could be a big change in how legal actions are taken, potentially breaking apart deep-rooted power networks in the entertainment world. As we close this intense chapter, there are many questions about what's next for Diddy, his close contacts, and even those just loosely tied to the controversy. With the legal battles heating up and rumors flying, it's clear we've only scratched the surface of what might be going on in Hollywood's hidden layers. Who else might get caught up in these far-reaching allegations? Damn, who else might get caught up in from... these far-reaching allegations? What do y'all think? Name y'all top five people down in the comments right now. Nah, for I was trying to be quiet for the video, fool. Cause probably trying to get on my ass for talking during the video. You know, I was trying to be quiet, goddamn. But fool, oh my god, I believe that somebody lying. It's probably some truth. You know what I'm saying? It gotta be some extent of truth. In all these accusations and allegations being made against Bradford. Is it all true? That I do not know. In that we will see, goddamn. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts and descriptions down in the comments. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on the gram at sta.kt and at really kt. And go stream me and my out not everywhere by stakt. And I'm gonna see y'all next video, man. Big brr. Fresh in my white teeth, see the progress. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. I'm a stunner.